that, Gloria? You're tired now, eh? Because you had some food? Meow. Who's a good kid again? With a big tail. Yeah, okay, bye-bye. Hey, what's happening, guys? Elton here. I wanted to give you guys an update uh, on the 59 Chevy. Uh, as you can see, she's looking real swell, real nice. And uh, it's funny because, uh, you know, I filmed other models I've made over, you know, past few years. And uh, like that 59 Chev, uh, the 58 Impala you see up there and the 64 GTO you see next to that. But I only like would show like what I was going to do with it, you know, with the box and all the parts. And then I never showed an e any evolution. And then I would show the end product. So I figured I was going to do the same. I'm like, ah, Alton, don't be lazy, even though you're probably tired from your stupid pericarditis. Just show what you've been doing now. So as you can see, she's getting closer to getting really done here. I got a lot of the, f the chrome foil on there. Now, if you don't know what chrome foil is, they call it that because it's like aluminum foil. Except it's much thinner and it's adhesive. Even though I don't have an eBay account anymore and uh, you can't get this stuff. And, you know, hobby shops have been disappearing for years in cities. Uh, I, I'm sure I got this at Udisco, which even though I went on their closing sale... Uh, what was it, uh, more than a month ago, I didn't have any left, I would have bought some for sure. Uh, if you have any actually you want to sell, uh, let me know, as long as it's reasonable. And uh, so yeah, chrome foil really makes the chrome trim pieces look the best. Uh, there's a guy I'm subscribed to from the States, obviously, a uh, really cool channel called uh, H Hip Guys, HP Guys. And this guy really goes thorough showing the model, all the parts and the chrome parts, everything. And then he actually paints it and then, they, you know, displays it. But what he doesn't do is that he, he paints the chrome, surprisingly, uh, which is uh, kind of passe in my opinion. And uh, I think if you have like something that doesn't have a lot of chrome, it doesn't, it's not a big deal. You know, maybe just the chrome around the windows, you just paint it silver. But uh, as for a car like this, these 50s cruisers that I've, I'm in love with since I was a kid, uh, it's it's just to do justice to, to do them right. Oddly enough, with this kit here, if you didn't see part one, there's the kit right there that I bought a few years ago on eBay. Got a good price on her. Uh, oddly enough, the uh, chrome moldings on the side here are actually separate pieces. They're not they're not part of the body, which is smart. I was just thinking before I started recording. I'm like, yeah, maybe they thought. Uh, down there at Ravel that people would, uh, you know, they that it would look like shit if they painted that silver because it's so thick, you know. Oh, by the way, yeah, the white part, I had to paint that as well as the other side. But the thing I can see why the guy doesn't want to do the chrome foil because it is annoying in the sense that once you apply it, you have to keep buffing it, you know, with like I use my shirt and just or else it's not going to stick on. But like here it came off uh, because... Uh, I had my hands on there a few times trying to, I had to, this is the first time ever I think where I went to go put a body on the frame and it was really hard to, like the engine was sticking out and I did not have the engine sitting correctly on the uh, axle uh, because uh, the, uh, what do you call the spindles, the tables for the wheels uh, kind of botched them and I didn't set them in the right place so the engine was sitting up too high, uh, it was a real pain in the ass. So I had to take the air cleaner off and the three carburetors and uh anyway now I got it right. Uh I got still some chroming left to do. Um I don't like how one of the things I don't like about these kits though is they have the door handles separate. That's stupid because that's something you can lose like that, you know. Uh they got the dual antennas. You know what? I thought about it last night. I'm actually not gonna put them on. Because uh again, I wanted to keep this as a basic really stock and pal as possible. So, no, again, no fender skirts, which it comes with. They're here. So, if ever you need them, you let me know. i got the fender skirts. They'll be available, which are right there. They're already primered. Where are they? They're right here. And then if you want, i got a continental kit. Oh, I didn't put that on. And, uh, of course, I'm not going to bother with the, um, as I did before, with the, uh, the, uh, the front bumper with the uh, the bumper guard, nor with the rear bumper for the Continental kit, so I'm not going to need those. I like how it says in the instructions at the end, it says, please dis please uh, uh, dispose of unused parts. Yeah, right, dispose. Yeah, well, maybe in the old day when they were worthless, but now they're actually worth a few bucks. So, 
There's the grill. I just finished doing all the uh, black painting on it. Not fantastic, but good enough. As well as these uh, insert pieces here. These uh, little pieces that go with the grill. They go right there. It's almost the same size, eh? And uh, yeah, basically just like... Uh, actually, weirdly enough, this one here, it's got the skirts. It's got the rear dual antennas. I think it has... I don't know if it has a continental kit or not, but it doesn't have the the uh, the front bumper with the uh, grill guard. So, but anyway, it's looking really sharp. It's almost finished. I thought I would finish it today, but I'm pretty tired today, and there's still a lot of work left to do. Uh, show you how cool the interior looks as well, but the camera doesn't want to really focus in on that. Steering, gosh, hang on a minute. I'll try something here. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus too well, eh? Uh, show you what the underneath looks like here. Oh shit, you see it's actually still not... Yeah, that's kind of annoying. I remember when I noticed this one of the first times I tried to put the body, the frame with the body. See the frame, it's almost as if they designed it to stick out like that. See what I mean? I don't know if you can see what I mean. I don't like that. I don't like it! And there's the underneath. I actually gave the exhaust a another coat of paint part of the floor is actually part of the interior right here this part right here where there's the triangle part of the frame and you can see I missed a spot I'm going to have to paint that again that's all part of the fun though you know and uh, yeah so you know it's kept coming along real good it's going to be done this week going to be finished I figure uh, tomorrow or uh, uh, Friday but mind you, tomorrow I have an appointment with my my uh, dermatologist there. She's got to check me every year to make sure the stupid melanoma didn't come back. But yeah, it's true that the foil, as cool as it is, it's a very it's very annoying to work with. Like stuff like this, believe it or not, this is not the hard part. The hardest parts are in these areas where they're they're tight. They you know they stop. Uh, they're not very accessible, especially here in the vent window. This one, the friggin' vent window, I did it. And it came off because I manhandled this piece too much. This part here, the chrome moldings along the belt line right here. Uh, I don't know. I might take that all off and just paint it silver just because it's too annoying to uh, to do. So, But yeah, really happy with it. Really cool. And like with my other models, once it's done, well, I'm going to definitely uh, uh, film it outside when it's sunny in my alley. Because it just looks really realistic and the colors are just going to pop in on the chrome. So... There you go. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you for the final part. Bye-bye.